Welcome you all to a very nice exponential equation. If 2 raised to power n minus 1 plus 2 raised to power n plus 1 is equal to 320, then what will be the value of n? Let's find out and see the solution. We are going to expand these powers. For the first part, 2 raised to power n minus 1, we are going to use quotient rule of power that says if a raised to power m minus n, then this is equal to a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. So we can write this as 2 raised to power n divided by 2 raised to power 1. For the second part, 2 raised to power n plus 1, we are going to use product rule of powers. That says if a raised to power m plus n, then this is equal to a raised to power m times a raised to power n. So this will be equal to 2 raised to power n times 2 raised to power 1. This 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2 is equal to 320. In the next step, we are going to uh, factor out 2 raised to power n and inside bracket we have 1 over 2 plus 2. We are going to solve the bracket now by taking LCM. LCM is 2, 2 1 time is 2, 1 and 2 times 2 is 4. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, 5 divided by 2. In the next step, we are going to multiply by 2 divided by 5 on both sides of the equation. So 2 raised to power n, 5 divided by 2 times 2 divided by 5, right hand side 320 times 2 divided by 5. This and this cancel out, this and this cancel out. 2 raised to power n is equal to 5 1 time is 5 and 5 6 time is 30, 5 4 time is 20. 64 times 2 is 128. 128 can be written as 2 raised to power 7. Here we are going to use this rule a raised to power m is equal to a raised to power n then m is equal to n. If bases are same and equal, we can equate the powers. So according to that, n is equal to 7, which is the final and required value of n. I hope you find this solution easy. If you have any question, any query, write in the comment box. Don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.